This is the tutorial on how to set the timestamp and how to use your mobile eyewear recorder. The instructions are a little vague. So, um, when you pull it out of the box, charge it according, uh, it says 24 hours. Um, I charged it until the light went off on, a, on the included charger. What's included in the box is, of course, the glasses, the manual, a disc, a USB cord, a glass case with belt loop, a glass cleaner, a lens cleaner. Um, I've already charged this and it is ready to go. I've used it a couple times. I've already posted a test video, but uh, I'll show you how to operate it. You put the SD card in. This one does have internal memory, but it doesn't like, it doesn't record to it. I don't know why. But, which way does that go in there? That way, there we go. Alright, that's in there. Um, the way you run this thing, this thing is a three mode camera. It is a still camera. It is a audio only recorder and it is a video recorder, DVR. Um, to power on, you push the button and you'll see a red LED. That's in the standby mode. To take a picture, you push the power button quickly. That took a picture. The green light came on up here, and there I'll take another picture. All right. The video mode is this one. This one you push quickly. Now we're recording a video. I will step over here so you can see we're recording a video. When I play that back on the screen, and we'll shut off the video. We're back in standby mode. Now, to record audio only, you push and hold that button. And the red and the green will blink. And now it's recording audio only. Shut it off. Give it a quick hit. Oh, maybe. There we go. Now to shut it off, hold it for a long time, and then let off. Now, um, I found out that if you plug in the uh, the USB and try to take it right from there to your computer. This one seems to be a little choppy. So what I do is I have a card reader. I take the card out. Put it in there. Okay, now we'll see. Open folder to view files. I did a few extras there. Um, here's that last audio file. Here's the video. Now we're recording a video. I will step over here. So you can see we're recording a video. I'm going to play that back on the screen. And we'll shut off the video. 
Okay. And a couple of pictures that we uh, that I took. There's one. And there's the other one. So it does work really well. Um, for the time and date stamp. Now this on uh, on this disc there is a a file named time. And if you can see it, you put the disc into your drive and there's a file named time in there. Will that focus on there? No. Anyway. You open up that file. You drag and drop. Here, let's just open it. I'll, I'll, I'll show that to you right away here. I'll, uh... Eject it. Here we go. Put that, put that card back in there. Now when that comes up, see the time right there. You see that one that says time. Drag and drop that. Drag and drop that to your desktop. Um, when you do that, go into it and edit your time. It's, it's year first, month second, day third and then 24 hour clock okay whatever time it is put that time in there file save and then X out of it and what you want to do is plug in your camera plug in your eyeglasses camera the computer and when that pops up it says open folder to view files right open the folder and you'll come up with this DCIM okay okay your, your first what you want to do is drag and drop the file that you just adjusted the time in into here. Don't drop it into DCIM. Drop it right into here. And what that does, and after you've done that, you close it out. Eject your camera. Now the time and date is set in your eyeglasses spy camera. This is a tutorial on how to set the timestamp and how to use your mobile eyewear recorder. The instructions are a little vague. So, um, when you pull it out of the box, charge it according, uh, it says 24 hours. Um, I charged it until the light went off on, a, on the included charger. What's included in the box is, of course, the glasses the manual, a disc, a USB cord, a glass case with belt loop, glass cleaner, a lens cleaner. Um, I've already charged this and it is ready to go. I've used it a couple times. I've already